I wanted to do this video based on a question someone had about low back pain when they started keto, okay? Is, is it coming from the kidney? Well, probably is. So there are several reasons for this. Number one, you're consuming too many oxalates and your body is sensitive to them. Um, those are certain compounds and certain foods. And when someone does keto, a lot of times they start doing a lot of almonds or almond flour in some of the keto desserts. Um, this is loaded with oxalates and that can aggravate the kidney and even the joints, causing uh, pain anywhere in the body. Also, spinach is very high in oxalates. So is rhubarb, but a lot of people don't consume rhubarb, but they definitely do spinach. And then chocolate is really high in oxalates. So if you're combining chocolate with almonds, we could have a problem. Now, I did put a link down below to give you a lot more information on other foods that have this, but if you start to change your diet and eliminate these and the back pain goes away, then we know that was probably it. The problem with oxalates is this is related to number four, stone formation, kidney stones. Some people are stone formers. They make kidney stones very easily. So if you're in this boat, what you need to do is to consume more water, two to three liters a day, okay? And add some electrolyte powder in there. Why? Because stones can only develop in a super saturated state. So if you're drinking this much fluid, the stones cannot form. Okay, so right there, that eliminates the possibility of forming a stone. Number two, lemon gives you the citrates. Citrates inhibit the oxalates. Okay, so you can actually also with this one, avoid these foods and also consume lemon water. Okay, next one is decrease oxalates. We talked about this and I put the link down below. You can check that out. And also you wanna do a moderate amount of protein. Potentially too much protein could stress the kidney and set you up for getting another stone. Too much salt, it's because the more salt that goes through you, the more calcium goes through you. So calcium tends to follow sodium. Um, you wanna do uh, the normal amount of salt. You just don't wanna do excessive amounts if you're a stone former, okay? Number two you're doing way too much protein. And that can strain the kidneys, that can strain the liver and cause back pain right from there. So if you were to have kidney pain, it's usually gonna be right up in here. It's not gonna be right down here, it's gonna be a little higher up. Let's isolate where the pain is, draw a circle on the front and press into the front of your abdomen and hold pressure exactly where the pain is on the opposite side and once you hold that for 30 seconds, the pain should disappear. And that's just a quick technique to help you temporarily get rid of the pain as you find the source and correct the source of it. All right, next one is this. Your urine is too acid. Now this could also relate to stones because uh, let's say for example, you get uric acid stones. One way to correct that is to alkalize the body a little bit. If you're too acid because ketones are acid and you're in some hardcore ketosis, that could potentially raise your uric acid level and that could create the pain. But not if you're doing enough vegetables, which will very easily counter that acidic state because these are alkaline, okay? Another reason to consume a good amount of salad or other vegetables during keto. Also, you can take potassium citrate, which is a type of an electrolyte, which will also help neutralize the acid. So these are some things to narrow down to help you get rid of the back pain if you have it when you do keto. So if you wanna get notified with all my content, click the notification bell next to subscribed.